again. And we'll see in which style Barrera fights tonight. Sometimes he has surprises, most notably the first five rounds of the second Morales fight, far more tactical, tactical than anyone expected. Kevin Kelly trying to roll his hands and get his feet moving, see if he can land a big shot. Kelly has got to make sure he box tonight and wait for opportunities. Look out for mistakes. Don't go in there and try to gamble. Win it. Win it on points if you can. Make Barrera make mistakes. Barrera's got to do something exciting now. Clean this guy out. A guy like Kelly go the distance with him. And when you say make Barrera make mistakes, you mean a defensive mistake, the kind of mistake where he gets hit by a big shot, right? That's right. Drop his hand, get a rhythm to his right, uh, left hand. He starts to sway it a little bit, drop it to his waist, go in for a big shot. Right hand, get a little sloppy. Go in with your straight left. Don't try to create anything if you Kelly. First minute and a half seems to portend the boxing match. As Barrera steps to side and looks for a way to land his jab. Kelly goes down on a counter shot. Well, Kelly was looking to land a big shot. He got hit by one. should go down to the body and just do the same thing he did with that shot punch he just laid. Laid on uh, Kelly. Kelly seems a little bit more relaxed now. Maybe he's shaking off the knockdown. Barrera, in no hurry, picking his shots. down on the first real contact but Kelly makes it out of the round fine one round in Barrera versus Kelly and when we go to Barrera's corner where they speak Spanish our interpreter is Ray Torres that's very good. very good you need to yeah it's, instead of rushing it yeah just use your more jab so you can keep him at a distance you got to put a real jab on him and every time he steps you let your hands go that's the start of it do you understand that two two the exchange there with Kelly was looking to land something through a left hand and put a quick right followed by a left. Someone ba off balance there trying to get back yeah. out of the way. Yeah. He wasn't dazed, not hurt seriously, but the quickness of Barrera's hands stunned him. Box numbers in round one, Kelly 5 out of 28, Barrera 19 out of 45, including 14 out of 25 power shots. Obviously the key punch was the little left hook that put Kelly down for the knockdown. Barrera's corner told him to jab and take your time. If you're not going to get creative and go after a guy like Kelly, when are you going after someone? Maybe they just feel like it's going to be easy enough that he need not take any chance whatsoever. Well, yeah, you can remember we talked whether he should just come out and brawl and try to overwhelm Kelly. But just by boxing him, he accomplished the same thing. Don't be calling any guy great if he's reluctant. Just forget that. Save that for someone who will gamble with him. I think that Barrera has proven his willingness to fight, exchange, brawl over a long time 
14, 15 year career. One, one fight is not the difference. Kelly trying to mix it up. And Barrera knocking him back with the left hook. Barrera should be jabbing Kelly in his chest to make sure if he's got a little spot, get it out of him early. If you're not going to try to finish it, make him weak. Still content to box. Digging the body punch to Kelly. Kelly turns around, back into his southpaw stance. He had momentarily been in a conventional stance. I think Kelly would easily be out of this fight if Barrera just put together a combination. One, two, three, and that's the end of it. Kelly can't seem to take those jabs by Barrera, I can tell you that. Didn't like the right hand much either. Those jabs just seem to swell his eyes up, make him dizzy. And I almost wait to be dropped by right hand. Kevin grabbing and holding as Marco tried to bring a left hook behind the right cross. Kelly trying to get to the body with both the right and the left hand. Barrera partially blocked the left hand body shot with his elbow. Switched on him, Kelly did. Get down. Get down. Get down. Listen to me. Get your arms on. Listen to me. You don't talk, you listen. Saturday, May 3, HBO Pay-Per-View brings you the return of Oscar De La Hoya as he faces Yori Boy Campus. De La Hoya silenced his longtime nemesis and arch rival Fernando Vargas when they squared off in the ring last September. Campus will try to derail De La Hoya, who has already set his sights on a fall rematch with Shane Mosley. Also that night, Eric Morales takes on 22-year-old phenom Fernando Bobby Boy Villardes. That's May 3, live on HBO Pay-Per-View. If you lot of jab, what you need to do. Okay. Oh. Round three, schedule 12 between Marco Antonio Barrera and Kevin Kelly. Barrera knocked Kelly down in the first round. Now Kevin tries to step up the level of aggression after having been outboxed, it seemed, in the second round as well. Herrera keeps his hands up, doesn't drop them too low, stays focused, hard to get an opening in there. If you're Kelly, you wonder, when is he going to give me some? When you're in the ring with a boxer, you want a puncher to be, a slugger to be open all the time so you can outbox him. This guy punches and he keeps his defense up, Barrera does. A double left hook. Back Kelly up. Back Kelly up, one to the body, one to the head. Kelly leaning over to hear one more instruction from his trainer, Phil Borgia, from the corner. Incidentally, Phil Borgia's mother, recovering from a recent ailment in Brevard, North Carolina, he sends his best wishes to her. Hi, Mom. Midway through the third, Kevin Kelly has landed one left hand in this round, but he was a little off balance when he threw it. It was not his biggest shot. Kelly's a bit winded now. And his right eye is beginning to swell already. As Barrera focuses the jab on Kevin Kelly's right eye. He's got Kelly playing the counter puncher now. Boy, those are two stiff jabs. And a left hand over the top by Kelly. Or 
Rowley is allowing, allowing Keller to get his nerves up. Keller is thinking, I thought I'd be out of here by now. I, maybe I can fight this guy. That's what you don't want from Kelly if you're Barrera. Keep him a little, a little scared. And this is, you see it, George, the product of Barrera's excessive caution. Too much caution. I don't like a guy who's got that kind of power. True drop greatness guy. requires more risk-taking. You've got to take a risk and drop this guy. If you get tired, well, ooh, that left hook to the body by Barrera. That hurt Kelly. That's Barrera's best punch. That oh, hurt. Has been. That hurt. Kelly trying to stay away, still suffering the after effects of that brutal yeah, that's when you, to the body. That's when you try to take a breath and hope nothing happens for a moment. Now Barrera trying to smash Kelly with his dramatically improved straight right hand. It was at best a minor weapon in the first half of his career. It's become a major weapon in recent fights. But Kevin Kelly dancing to show his confidence and comfort as round three ends. Listen, you need to turn it up. First of all, I need a straight up He's getting off with his right hand before you. Yeah. You understand me? That's Hold on, on Zach. Gotcha. Pay attention. I'm losing it. That's number one. Number two. Paint him a lot. Paint him. And the jab. Soften him over the jab so you'll be ready for it. In, in close, you hit him real good. Yeah. Get in closer. Here's, you're going to see a world-class double hook. Good shot to the body. Hook. Partially an uppercut to the head. Fortunately for Kelly, he had good balance. Otherwise, he could have suffered a knockdown. Now, B-Box numbers in round three. Barrera, 13 out of 26 jabs. Kelly, one out of 16. Not able to land his jab. Harold, how do you have it through three? Attention! 30 to 26. Three rounds to nothing. Marco Antonio Barrera. Jim, I gotta tell you something. Tonight, you're seeing the complete Marco Antonio Barrera package. He's spitting the water every three seconds. He fills up his mouth with water. The, le the half left hook. Left uppercut, he's landing, beautiful snap and left jabs, and, and, and every so often mixes in a straight right hand. Really got the Marco Antonio Barrera. Took the left hand shot from Kelly, delivered two body punches in a row, knocked him down with the right hand. It was really the body combination that put him down. He has not recovered from that body earlier body shot. Kevin is just walking now, called the walking, the sleeping, walking and sleeping. It's been the body attack in this round, and now Barrera has two minutes to finish Kelly off, if in fact he wants to do so. The body shots are really hurting Kevin. He can't take it to the body. Too much time out of the ring. Five, six, seven, eight. You all right? You gotta show me something. Come on. All right, you gotta show me something. Let's go. Kelly walks the wrong way as Barrera stalks. Kelly is through. Kelly is ready again. Kelly is through. It's here because Kevin Kelly couldn't defend himself against the onslaught of Marco Antonio Barrera. Despite all the talking, he had nothing, zero to offer. So it's an easy fourth round knockout for Barrera. And those who speculated before the fight that Kevin Kelly was not really prepared by his last couple of years of boxing experience for a show like this one see their predictions torn out. Herrera landed 16 of 22 power shots in closing things out in that round. And uh, George, it seemed as if he decided after the first few rounds, well, I think it's open to the body. I'll go ahead and do the business there. I'll be honest with you, Jim, I think I could have tickled Kelly on his chin and got the same result. All right, let's take a look at uh, the replays of the knockout. And here's knockdown number one, product of body shots. Boom, boom. He was hurting from those body shots, and then the little right hand put him down. Now here's the same knockdown. Talk about the body combination, George. 
Yeah, this guy, he got hurt early on in the body, but let me say you, he got in his ring hurt from not even being punched. And I'm going to be honest with you. Kelly gained, but Barrera, this was an overmatch. Yeah. So you're saying he looked mismatch. compromised from the moment he took off his robe. Yeah, he just got knocked down from not much of a shot, laid down. He wanted to get up like any game fighter, but let me tell you, he shouldn't have been in there with this guy. Well, when you have to struggle fiercely to make 126 pounds, when it's really not in you to make 126 pounds and you dry out and start yourself to do it, you've really given up your chance to win the fight, right? But most fighters, we have to deny ourselves. Even I, as a heavyweight, have to struggle for a certain weight. We all deny and struggle for a certain weight. That's no excuse. So Struggling is boxing. Easy win for Barrera. Let's hear the official particulars from Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, referee Robert Bird steps in and calls a halt to this bout. The official time, 1 minute 32 seconds of round number 4. The winner by TKO victory, and still the true featherweight champion of the world, the babyface assassin, Marco Antonio. Well, that was tape a week ago in Las Vegas. Now we're back live at ringside in Fresno. Again, I'm Jim Lampley. Let's bring in the other two members of our commentary team to set up the live fights we'll be seeing here this evening. First of all, a look back at Barrera Kelly with HBO boxing analyst Larry Merchant. Off of that great performance, everybody looks forward to the possibility of Barrera's third matchup with his countryman, Eric Morales. How soon is it likely to take place? Sooner rather than later, Jim. And that's because Morales these days has to subsist on a diet of water and air to make the featherweight limit of 126. He badly wants to move up to 130. Barrera is unlikely to follow him there. So it looks like sometimes late in the fall, that third meeting will take place. All right, we'll look forward to that one. Meanwhile, uh, turning to the other member of our commentary team to get ready for young Miguel Cotto of Puerto Rico against Joel Perez. This, of course, George Foreman.